So, check this out, people. Most people who watched the news last week believed that the stock market was going to crash because the Chinese market crashed, the Japanese market crashed. Most markets in most parts of the world have crashed. And so the majority of people who were invested in the stock market here in the U.S. believed that the stock market in America was about to crash. And because of that, people began to panic sell. Now, there's a difference between panic selling and the market crashing. There's a difference between a huge sell-off and a huge crash. Because if you listen to the news, if you listen to influencers, you're going to be manipulated. And this is how the majority of the market is moved. It's moved by what you hear on the news, what influencers are telling you. And if you follow their lead, then you, like most people, will panic sell. And you move and get out of your stocks at the wrong time. And then when you want to jump back in, you're going to realize that as soon as you sell within 24 hours, the stock is going to recover. And then you're going to try to jump back in at a much higher price than you originally had bought. And that's going to cause you to lose the amount of shares you now own and the amount of money that you could have earn, earned if you hadn't sold, if you hadn't panicked sold. And this is the problem with the media. This is how you're manipulated. This is why most of the time you shouldn't watch the news when it comes to the market help. It wouldn't, you shouldn't watch the, the news when it comes to anything because if you're in, easily influenced by what you listen to on TV, then you're going to be easily influenced on how you handle your money. Now you have these influencers who are posting videos about huge crash is about to come, huge crash is about to come. And of course, the majority of people who were invested into the market sold their shares prematurely believing that there was going to be a crash. And there was no crash. There was no crash because if you notice that the markets were doing really bad during off hour trading, okay? During the late evening hours before market opened, the stocks were doing terrible, everything was tanking. And those who were selling were not everyday investors who have control over their stocks while the market is open because we cannot trade off hours. Even in Robinhood, even Robinhood uh, closed down there after market trading. So we couldn't even sell our stocks. Most of the people who were selling were those who have the opportunity to trade after market. And so if you notice the very next morning when the market opened up, the stocks and the market began to recover within 24 hours. And today, Tuesday, the stocks are doing fine. They're, they may not be as high as they were last week, but that's part of the game. That's part of the market. Stocks go up and stocks go down. Bitcoin was down 13,000 just yesterday. Today, is, it's down only some six, 8,000. And it's not like Bitcoin has never been here before. So who's to say it's not going to go back up to 50, uh, rather 64, 65,000 within the week? That's what happens in the market. So anybody who tells you that there's a, a huge uh, market crash coming, you need to watch your stocks. You need to watch your money because if you sell at the wrong time, if you sell prematurely believing the hype and following what these influencers are telling you, you're going to sell at a loss. And then when you want to jump back in after seeing the market recover within 24 hours, it's going to be too late for you. You're going to jump in at a much higher price than you originally did. And you, you won't have the, the same amount of shares that you once had. The news isn't always your friend. Influencers aren't always your friend because they're not here for you. None of them are here for you. When they tell you that you're going to be so freaking rich, they could care less. They're there to influence the, you. They're there to manipulate you, to control you, to feed you propaganda. 
This is why most of them use those click words like, you're one of us or I'm one of you guys. And, and nonsense like that. And trigger words like FUD. To, to instill fear in you, to, to get you to trust them, to believe in them. This is propaganda. You cannot believe the hype. You cannot follow these people. You have to watch the market yourself. You have to watch the numbers and let the numbers tell you exactly what's going to happen. I held on to every one of my shares, every one of the amount of shares that I own in VJT and in other stocks I have not sold because I'm not going to follow the masses or the hype. I'm just going to watch the numbers. I'm going to allow the market to do its thing. And then when I'm ready, I will sell. Not based on what the news says, not based on what influencers say, but based on what the numbers show and how the market moves. And so if you listen to the majority of these influencers who are simply manipulating you, the majority of them, not all of them, just like the news. Half of the time, these people who are presenting the news to you have no idea what it is they're talking about. They're simply reading a teleprompter and they're not telling you what they know is true or what they believe to be true, but rather what they are being told by others and they are simply reading it out to you. Just like, for example, if you're a Republican, you're not going to tell someone about the Democrats, at least not in a positive way. They're going to be biased. And if you're a Democrat, you're not going to say anything good about a Republican. You're going to be biased. You're going to read what the teleprompter is telling you to say, not based on what you believe, but based on what that news station who's Democrat is controlling you to say. And that's how the news works. These people don't do real investigations like, like newscasters used to do some 30, 40 years ago. They don't do their own research. They simply wake up, put on their makeup, put on their clothes, sit in front of a teleprompter and read. That's it. So in the end, people, you have to understand how the world works, not just the market, not just the news, not just what influencers tell you. You have to be a grown up and based on what the numbers say in the market, that's how you trade. That's how you invest. That's how you know whether or not to keep your money into a stock or not. The reason why the market tanked on between Sunday night and Monday morning was because people were panic selling. That's it. And if you look at the market today, Tuesday, the very next day, it's recovering. The market is right where it needs to be. It may be a little lower than it was on Friday, but that's just part of the game. That's what the markets do. They go up, the stocks, and they go down. So in the end, people, get your money.